What's up guys, and today it is part two of building the most secure base in Minecraft, and we have to just uh, finish the roof of our base. Let's do it. That's clear and not going to work. It'll help us finish up two rows really quickly, so I think we better do it like this. Maybe even three. And then just cover these up. Boom, boom, boom. And ignore what the TV is talking about, because that is clearly not appropriate for this video. But anyways, um, and if you hear stuff in the background, like just the TV or, yeah, just ignore it. Stupid slimes. Out of my life. And now we're going to go through again where you guys multiply by like millions. No more slimes. Why is it always slimes that spawn in flat worlds? <clears throat> there we go. We just have to do that a couple more times. And we're also gonna test the space against the wither. Oh God, I'm scared for that. Hey buddy. Well, actually, We need some lighting, so we're gonna use glowstone for that. Now, let's see how it looks. Perfecto! We're gonna do that the same thing. We're gonna be doing the same thing on this side. So we'll have lighting throughout the entire base. The thing with the wither is it can fly. And I really hope I don't die. We're just gonna see what it's like to deal with that, but we will cheat. Yes. <laughs> Certainly. We're gonna cheat by 
Uh, using the totem of undying, baby. Totem of undying. Building the roof here. We're just gonna finish this up. What does it look not? Oh. Um, you go back to Nixon but too many blocks. And now I fill that in with glowstone. Okay. And then when we go in, we should have plenty of lighting. Perfect. What are you, Mr. Giant Slime? I'll kill the slimes later. Okay, next is the door. We're going to make an easy opening. Pressure plate. Let's go. Boom. I'm going to pressure plate inside because when we walk in, it'll just open again. And then the mobs can easily get in. So. Yeah. What we're going to have to do is. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm stupid. Um, what will we do? Oh, right. I was thinking that I just couldn't remember off the top of my head. Don't, don't I can't remember off the top of my head because I don't have head. Yay, baby. Okay, now that's just stupid. But anyways, um. Fun. I'm gonna add some glowstone to the walls. That will definitely blow up. Totally. Maybe we should, we should just use torches. Yeah, probably. We're using torches. Because we don't want our lighting to blow up. this in and then we're gonna fill the entire thing with torches all the walls let's go and these can't be blown up because these are inside and the obsidian can't be blown up you just gotta place torches on every single block. 
gosh. You can't place one there. Perfect. All torches now. And then we're gonna build an underground base. You heard me right. So it won't be exactly secret, but because mobs are dumb, except for the wither and the warden, which we will be facing this against, this base. Um, what is that? Anyways, um, is what we're gonna do is, you know what? Just go along with it, okay? I gotta test something. Oh, and I just took away the pressure plate was probably needed. That was stupid. You don't need the torches anymore. I should've probably just taken away the wool because I didn't need, need that anymore. We're just gonna test something out, okay? Well, it would start back here. So, need to dig the block deep. We can, please. Yeah. Mobs could step on that. For this, all right, this is gonna be tough because it's hard to just fall one block down. I'd have to be in just jump mode, not fly mode. Cause then it'd be harder for me to just fall down. Dig out this whole area, like a little bit here. All that, all that jazz, all that jazz. Your jazz is stupid. Um, we could maybe be able to. Have... Place it there.
we just have this absolutely not so random block sitting right here. Let me step in this thing. Maybe we need to move the like one of, one of these blocks when I over a little. actually need this okay we're good you know what we're gonna do so the, this actually helps This is gonna be the real base. The room up there is gonna be a decoy base, kind of, if you know what I mean. If you don't know, then too bad for you. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit. We need a lot of space here. I need more torches. Now we gotta build a storage system. Yeah. Chest. Oh, 
is that not working? All these large chests are enough anyway. Um, we're definitely gonna need to add a lot of things into the, into into this. Ah, and we're gonna have a whole wall of. Of, of furnaces. We can cook a lot of stuff. Storage all along here. We wouldn't need multiple crafting tables, right? Or would we? Do we need multiple? I don't think we would need multiple. Should probably have a brewing stand. It may be not, it'd probably be useless because I don't really know how much about potions in Minecraft. And just for decoration, I'm gonna... No reason at all, well, for decoration really. Put it on the wall. This just looks cool, right? No? Yeah, looks cool. And we're just gonna place some crafting tables here. You, don't, you only really need one crafting table, so that's how many we're gonna place. One. And let's start filling up these chests, buddies. We're gonna fill up our inventory with a lot of materials. Oh gosh. Let's get this running. Everything from the items, bot bottom to top. Let's do this. Okay. Um, let's, uh, oh, I didn't add diamonds, okay. Anyways, let's, uh, okay, this is gonna take a while. Oh, sheesh. Oh my. Well, gotta get done. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, we got coal, we got redstone, necessary, boat, necessary. We don't need books. What about this, dragon's breath, no. Fermented spider eye? I guess so. That. We're actually gonna need this soon, so I'm gonna just add that. Um. And we will need dispensers later, so I'm also gonna get that. Okay, anyways. Maybe I have Ender, who knows? We may or may not need that. Um, gunpowder, string, totally. Bricks, I guess. 
iron and copper and gold and emerald and diamonds definitely probably we're gonna we're gonna get a stone cutter and um probably gonna need water buckets we're probably gonna need a lava bucket um I'm gonna have an item frame. Um, glowstone dust, ooh, what's that? I'm gonna have armor stands in these chests. We're gonna have, in case we think we need a brewing stand. Enchantment table, I don't really even know how to use one of those. So beds, we're just gonna keep that in the base because that's gonna be necessary, so we might as well actually add one to our inventory right now. And we gotta wrap this up, because we're probably gonna have a part three. We're just gonna finish getting the items we want to add to these chests. So, gonna want some diamond armor. Well, actually, probably netherite. I think a mob got in my house. Great. It's very nice. Extra armor. Gonna want some extra one of these boys. And then. Let's add all of these things to the chest. gonna use that armor stand item frame oh, but we're gonna use that stone cutter we're gonna use that we need a brewing stand we're gonna use that can you put a chest in a chest yes we just need to get extra pants and boots Need some sh a shield, a bunch of cooked food. Actually, we're gonna use raw food instead. Then we can actually bring our furnaces into play. And then, snowball. Yes, to maybe like throw at mobs. Shears, we're gonna not get so many things just so we can use our own things, our stuff we have to craft it. And definitely gonna get some of these. bunch of these. Night vision. Fire resistance. Whiffness. I think that's enough for now. We're gonna need Construction. Okay, we're just gonna add all these things too. And I have to do something right now, but literally right when I'm done with that, I will make part three and we will finish all of this. But you won't get that video for a couple more days. Or maybe or maybe the next day or maybe next video will be this video. But for now, let me just get all this stuff. Mission of invisibility, that'd actually be good. I, I think I accidentally clicked that. Oh, remember, we're not gonna use that so we can actually bring our furnaces into play. Oh, right, we're gonna use the armor stand. And then this, this, 
this. Stone cutter. Should probably actually put more torches, anyways. How does that even work? I'm just gonna test this out real quick. Sorry, but need that right now. We'll probably make that in part three. really cool yeah anyways put that back in my inventory but anyways i hope you guys very much so enjoyed this video well do actually one more thing before i end it i'm just gonna place a bunch of these torches around and i'm probably gonna go Kill whatever mob is upstairs. Or. Gonna need a. Ah. Freaking button again. Gonna need a freaking button again. Gonna need a freaking button. be upside. Oh, I forgot to fill these in. But anyways, guys, part three, we will definitely build, finish building up the chest, add any extra little details we need in the main base in the in underground, and then, um, We're going to um, build a bunch of this to make this look like the real base. And sometimes, if 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 this is if, and we will fill up chests up here too. But we will. Um, we're probably only going to use the first floor base. Actually, use it as a real base against like just zombies and skeletons and creepers and those normal mobs because they're not as powerful and strong as like the wither or warden or those big strong mobs so we can definitely use this up here we'll put we'll definitely put the same things we put down there and um except for the heads we'll probably put furnaces a stone cutter all of that stuff and then that'll be our actually actual base against the stronger mobs and like, and just something we can stay in and not get blown up. To be honest, for mo for most of the zon oh. And we probably are gonna get to as much as we can in part two. Finish the chest, get um, get the decoy base part done. If we have time, we're definitely gonna build the fireball defenses um, and the watchtowers. And then the last detail we're gonna add is we're gonna add a bunch of cobwe cobwebs to slow down the up here mobs out here we're, some of the mobs we're gonna spawn already in past the lava moat and some 
over here, but for those mobs like zombies and skeletons, the lava moat will probably do the whole entire trick. But anyways, yeah, I've been talking for a while now, but I actually do need to end this video. I will start part three once I'm done with what I'm doing, and maybe, maybe not next video, I will, it'll be part three. And I may or may not make a Minecraft channel. If I'm able to, then I definitely will. And if I do, this will, this video will definitely go on the Minecraft channel. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. And I'll see you guys right back here in the very next one, which may or may not, part three of building the most secure base in Minecraft. Peace!